take a pay cut and lose benefits or be fired. Okay. Have fun reworking your entire system. Long time lurker, first time poster. Using alt account for privacy concerns. Anyways on to the story. And hash x200b. I work as a logistical consultant and have done so for the past seven years. Most of my work is short-term contracts to update, optimize logistical systems for manufacturers and delivery businesses. I do have a couple of long-term contracts with repeat clients and this story is about one such client. I got a job offer six years ago with a friend who inherited his family's machine shop. His father is a brilliant man but not business savvy in the slightest, and the entire business was teetering on bankruptcy. My main job there was optimizing the production method for both existing contracts and future contracts. This was my first long-term contract but I had been doing similar work for a few years and had gotten a couple of patents for producing some intricate parts before getting this job. In the contract negotiation I made sure that any patents developed in the course of my work would be retained completely by me. The contract term was five years before re-evaluating. It took a lot of time and work, but the company became rather successful especially considering the condition my friend inherited it. The 2020 happened and after about a year of trying to stay afloat my friend sold to some entrepreneur who wanted to get into the industry. In the months prior to the sale the new boss was trying to familiarize himself with the business. Being in charge of logistics I had given him a tour of the place and informed him of the patented methods used. This was happening right around the time my contract re-evaluation was supposed to happen and I asked whether I'd be negotiating with him or the new boss. He realized I didn't want to be stuck in a contract I would negotiate with him if he wasn't going to be my boss and he assured me that he'd make sure my new contract would be negotiated with the new boss. The new boss started restructuring and laying off most salaried employees and cutting benefits like vacation and sick time as soon as the acquisition went through. I was not a fan of this new boss since he, in addition to this, was an ass with zero experience and refused to acknowledge that fact. He did not understand what exactly my job was and thought it was unnecessary. I could tell he was just waiting for my contract negotiation. Fast forward about a month into the new regime and enter the shitshow that was my negotiation. He was of the opinion that I was overpaid and inefficient. He all but said that I was unnecessary. My only options were to either essentially become a part-time contractor with an effective 70% cut to what I was making and none of my benefits or be fired. When he gave me the ultimatum I was beyond shocked. I immediately contacted my lawyer and he told me the contract was absolutely insulting, needless to say I chose option 2. Over the course of my time there I had filed two patents that were extensively used by the company. With shorter contracts I typically negotiate for better royalty rate than benefits or salary, but since this business was both with my friend and supposed to be long term I opted for negotiating benefits. About a week after the negotiations were completed I told the new boss we'd need to discuss royalties before my term was officially over. He was not amused and was dismissive. After enough pressing from me we had a meeting with lawyers present. What's important to know is that one patent is extensively used in the production of an electrical device for the company's biggest client. The royalties deal written up by my lawyer was the standard one I use for most companies, which is more expensive than my previous contract. New boss was shocking and fuming. Saying how this was completely ridiculous and bordering on extortion considering how much more expensive it would be and how not being able to use the patent would mean he'd lose clients while shifting production methods. I told him that he had in total six months of time to figure out what it was that I did and to familiarize himself with the company and the fact that I had told him when I gave him the tour that I was the patent holder. He also could have asked for a quote and my usual rates. The first meeting ended very abruptly after this and three days later he came with an insulting counter-offer where I'd be employed again but with far less benefits than I originally had. I told him I don't want to work for him and that he either pays my rate or change production methods. This would entail replacing a lot of tooling and equipment and retraining workers. He threatened to sue and got rather belligerent so I told him I'd see him in court if that was the case, otherwise he knows my offer and has my contact info. He quickly realized that even in the unlikely event of the court deciding in his favor that he'd still lose a lot of money in legal fees. After the meeting I told my lawyer to draft a cease and desist and have it ready for when the contract expires. New boss started looking for my replacement. He had not stopped production or even told the clients about it during this time period. The day after my term ended I sent the cease and desist letter and production stopped. He lost most clients, most employees just jumped ship and last week declared bankruptcy. And hash x200b. 
Hope he learned his lesson. Never screw over the logistics guy. I was kinda waiting for the. So I went to the bankruptcy auction. Long story short I own a machine shop with a few clients I just happen to have the production line patents for already laid out. My logisticians are a humorless lot. They know they are the first ones I will slay if my campaign fails. Alexander the Great. Wow. This was the nuclear option. Nicely done. I wish I'd been smart enough to retain the rights to all the patents I created for previous employers. Oh yeah. Posts like these sustain me. We've all worked with stains of a boss before. I've been fired while being a consistent top 5 performer in a sales environment and seeing the startup completely bomb in 4 months after he fired me was the best feeling in the world. I want to know how in the world you got a contract where you kept the patent rights. Play stupid games. Win a bankruptcy prize. Repost under R. Nuclear revenge. It's amazing how anyone who is so clueless has enough money to buy these businesses in the first place, then proceeds to run said business into the ground. Never screw over the guy with the literal legal keys to the kingdom. I'll take my patents and go home, and you have fun trying to operate your business now. Did you send him a friendly email asking how he and business was with a formal, looks good on you, at the end? Dot. This is awesome. Congratulations. Fuck that guy. MBA textbook question. Q. How to make a cow eat less and yield more milk? A. Uh, feed it less and milk more. I know if someone who has a patent of a current manufacture process, it is still in the payroll and works, whenever he feels like it. Perhaps, might the old owner reclaim the biz at a huge discount? R. Pro revenge. I'm still waiting for the part where Ott then went and bought the company after all that at fire sale prices, rehired all the workers, regained the lost clients, saved the day, got the girl, and rode off into the sunset. Got to admire a capitalist who sticks to his, fuck everyone guns and cheap mentality to the point that he losses the successful business he bought. S. I'm actually shocked that he ceased production. That part of the story doesn't sound very believable. He seems like the kind of guy to go forward anyway. I think I'm in love with you. This is one of the most soul-satisfying stories I've ever read. Vulture capitalist self-owns, I love it. I'm very sorry, non-native speaker here learning, that, you're, in the title is right. Is it possible to learn this power? I always hear patent this and that. I didn't know you could insert a solution, patent it and get royalties from a business. I always pictured the dad from Gremlins and you get lucky. Ha. Huh. Time to explore patents. This totally. Every company is a logistics and IT company, just most also do something else. Lol. Every time he came to me I would have raised the price 20%. Jesus Christ. This should go to our nuclear revenge. Holy fuck. This is more, ah, pro-revenge to be honest, but fuck yay, screw that new boss. What a fucking dick. His loss, literally. Sweet justice. Reading this story was like drinking a fine wine. I promise you he learned nothing. I need a cigarette after that. Hope he learned his lesson, is your real name Pollyanna? Wow what a fucking idiot. Stories like this prove that rich people aren't smart and savvy business people. They are just rich. I don't understand how a company can permit one person, op, to hold such power over them, through patents. I also don't understand how this wasn't made crystal clear, in writing and with warning, to the buyer of the company. Rather than just, mentioning it while giving a tour. You brought down the company, well done. Considering he was told, pay my rates or change production methods, and still had the audacity to try to put you on the losing end. I actually sort of wonder how that lawsuit would have went down. Besides him losing a lot of money, of course. You're delicious. Always love the schadenfreude. Beautiful. Would this also be considered pro-revenge? Boom. How does this work? If he had ignored the C&D, what would have happened? Are these mechanical or physical assets you'd have seized, or something digital you could control externally? Or are these items he's recreating and distributing? Sorry, I'm not familiar with this type of thing. Perfectly played. Damn, dude. Talk about thoroughly destroying your new company, wow. This made my day, thank you for sharing. You, update me, update me. I feel like op is in fact, Lagrange.